All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about how do you actually land a client to get them. We've already hit on this a bunch, so again, it's not meant to be repetition, but it's it's meant to keep equipping you with different perspectives. I had this thought, okay? Either in person or virtually through the internet, your goal is to work your meeting cycle, to connect, to drive towards an analysis, and then to come back with a proposal, okay? And this is what I want you to get really excited about. We've already hit on this a bunch, but your number one thing, that the hammer that hits every time, it needs to be something that has such incredible benefit to it that the business owner is just thrilled to experience it, and it needs to be something that's specific enough where they're like, they lean in a little bit, okay? Your S Corp is that, okay? Now, I want to switch in your mind a little bit from, If you talk about S-Corps to small businesses, it's not that you're going to increase your sales. It will, but that's not the main thing I want you to get excited about. You should be so doggone excited that you're going to bump into people that are drastically overpaying in taxes and you get to wave your magic wand on it and transform their life. Like you're genuinely going to help make them millionaires, okay? Absolute and utter millionaires. And let me explain how that works, right? So if, also they're gonna help pay you with their tax savings. But you should get excited at this thought that you're gonna bump into people that have been an LLC or a sole proprietor and they are making $150,000, $250,000 a year. Those $150,000 folks a year are so prime for the picking. And when you come in there and you you go, let's just say they make $100,000. They're making $100,000. They go from paying $15,300 in self-employment taxes to $7,600. You cut that in half maybe, or maybe even cut it by 60%. That's unbelievable. Like you should just get pumped about that. Now there's certainly, they're gonna wanna hire you. If they're doing an escort, boy, they just gotta hire you. But you should get pumped. Your blood should get excited. Like you should be passionate about this thought that people and don't you don't want to get overly excited about the s-corp but the s-corp does a number of things and the first thing it should do is it should motivate you to help save them in taxes and let's be frank if you get them all set up and they end up shifting out and not working with you over time isn't the goal to help people not just help yourself you know my my values are to be trustworthy competent enjoyable and rigorous and at the end of the day i'm going to fight for my clients and for my employees above my own self-interest in some cases but i know that business continuity actually means that i fight for their like we have to make a profit right but when it comes to adding value if you can get into people's head that they should be an escort as long as that strategy is still working that might change in the future as we get more commies making communist laws um we should get excited about that not only that but if you look, have you ever listened to the Dave Ramsey um, videos where people talk about the debt that they've paid off and the financial freedom that they've made and the investments that they've made? It should make you excited that they can take some of that tax savings and put it into a brokerage account at minimum and get into Vanguard or Schwab um, index funds. Or they could go in and they could actually start using a SEP IRA, a simple IRA, or an individual 401k from Vanguard or Schwab. Those are kind of my favorites because they're cheapest. Um, But you got to get excited about that. And then you should also get excited because here's what you need to know, okay? You you have no idea. Maybe you do, but I don't think you as an accountant can genuinely connect with the idea of how much anxiety and uncertainty a lack of great bookkeeping, reporting, and tax planning brings us, okay? Okay. It was kind of funny. So here I am, the cobbler that, whose kids have no shoes. There's, there's a ton of that that I do. But I'm not an accountant. What I know is I know enough things to be so dangerous. But basically what I have done is I know that if I, I know what's deductible, I know what's not. But I kind of neglected my bookkeeping because I spend my time either doing this stuff, trying to add value and generate income. But I, And then I'm, I wanted to hire an accountant, but I never like... Like, ah, we'll save a minute. We'll just clean it up at the end of the year. And then the following year, 2021 here, we'll have a great accountant. And I knew who that was going to be. I work with scores of you. And I picked one that's a good client of mine that I want to work with. And uh, long story short, towards the end of the year, all of a sudden, that tension starts to build. How much did I screw up? How much am I going to owe? How much am I going to get back? Did I screw this whole thing up? And if you can really own the thought that these business owners often have $10,000, $2,500, $5,000, $8,000 bombs go off in their life 
of taxes that they owe that if they would have had you along their side, they would have been paying throughout the year and the pain would have been mitigated and the uncertainty would be gone and they would be able to plan and they'd probably reduce it. If you can really own that, that will motivate you, okay? It should motivate you that these people are freaking out. They are the American bloodline or they're the, 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 the lifeblood of any local economy. Local entrepreneurs taking something that didn't exist and making it exist and then growing it and keeping as much of that possible to refuel that business rather than handing it over to the government, no matter what it is, I don't care what you say, that drives local economies. That also, the fruits of that labor, drive families and can transform lineage. That should get you excited. So I'm bringing this up because an S-Corp or whatever strategy it is that can help them drastically reduce their taxes is the most. Right now in 2021, what I found was you should just get excited. Like It's like a little game. When you meet people, you just be all focused on them and somehow you want to ask the question, so what do you do for a living? Uh, I do this or that. Then they ask, and then if they tell you they're self-employed, you're like, Ooh, this could be exciting. And either one, when they ask you what you do, you want to be like, you know what? I own my own little tax and accounting firm. So we do, ironically, and smile with it. Like, so they don't feel like I got you. You know, I actually, I help guys like you. We do small business taxes and then like bookkeeping, accounting, and payroll. We just kind of do it for it all. But really what we do is like, all year round, we come to you with tax saving ideas. So we work as hard as we can to reduce your taxes. And then we built this little outsourced accountant model where for a flat monthly fee, we just do everything for you and you don't have to worry about it. Um, so tell me about like, do you have an accountant that you've worked with or do you already have somebody like us or, right? So what you're doing there is, is if you're equipped um, with that quick presentation, then they'll say something and the next, there's a, a little set of things that you'll want to do. Just so you know, okay? I use the, hey, just so you know. And the idea is, is that you need to be ready for a quick presentation about the most down and dirty things that will transform their business and solve their problems, help them thrive or survive. And the S-Corp's one of them. Hey, just so you know, one of the main tax strategies, are you an S-Corp yet? Yeah, yeah, we were thinking about I think my accountant made me an S-Corp, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Well, just so you know, the S-Corp, we specialize in maximizing the S-Corp. Long story short, most accountants are not very aggressive on this and they just kind of, they don't know what they're doing. We specialize in maximizing. And let's just say for people that made like $100,000, if you didn't maximize it, your total self-employment taxes, your, your Social Security and Medicare would be like Fifteen thousand dollars, but when we're done with people, it's often like seven or six thousand. So just so you know, if you don't maximize that S corp, you're leaving a ton of taxes on the table. Do you guys talk about that? Because I would. Here's what I tell you. So the idea is you're using this. Hey, just so you know, and that because you would be remiss if you didn't ask. And this is what guys, if you don't take some risks to lean in and probe about these really high value strategies, then you're just a blah accountant. You're too worried about feeling uncomfortable than to go in and, and bring up something that could possibly transform this person's life in terms of finances. Because if they take that $6,000 and put it in through a SEP or a simple IRA into an in, and they earn 8% over the next 25 years, they're millionaires, right? Multi-millionaires sometimes. They could literally take that money and become a millionaire. Like you can help them retire and build so much momentum, let alone all sorts of other things, right? But if you're so concerned about feeling uncomfortable about pushing in, or if you, ah, I didn't quite feel it, here's your transition point. Hey, just so you know, are you an S Corp? Yeah, I'm an S Corp. Cool. Because here's what we do we specialize in maximizing the S Corp. And by maximizing that S Corp, what we're able to do is oftentimes save. Three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars, um, and I tell you what, a lot of accountants do an okay job. But here's what we do for people: if you want, I can look at your tax return and a quick look at your books, and I could tell you right now if you're leaving, um, if you've got low-hanging fruit for taxes that could be mitigated, 
right? If you can lean into that and you can talk to them about, here's what I want to do. Let me look at your accountant real quick and let me look at your tax return. I'll tell you what, I find it all the time because genuinely we did this. This is what led to success. Get your paws on that tax return. But the S Corp is what's going to illuminate the option to actually talk about that tax return and get your hands on the tax return because there's a huge chance that these people aren't helping them at all. And all they're doing is the business owners, look, they look at the business owner and they go, okay, and what should your salary be this year? And they like pencil whip something and they file it towards the end of the year. They give no advice because they're chickens and they don't want to help them, right? Don't be that. Be that accountant that comes alongside and gives that guidance to help them be aggressive and, and then take the chance in a prospecting conversation. And I think, hey, just so you know, now, just so you know, one of the things that we do is kind of based on maximizing the S Corp. Now, are you an S Corp yet? Oh yeah, I've been that for years. Okay, cool. Well, a lot of times what we find is that people, they, they take what's called this reasonable salary and they're not aggressive with it. And if you're not aggressive with it, you leave a ton of money on the table. I mean, if you wanted to, just so you know, we would love to do an analysis on your tax return. And at minimum, you can bring some things to that CPA and say, hey, this other guy said that I should do this. What do you think? And that's what you're doing is you're, you're going in and you're exposing that faulty relationship. You're exposing that this guy's, this other tax firm is just a historian. They're not helping you. So again, some of these critical points, the S Corp is the first one. The second point is getting that tax return, right? And all you're trying to do is figure out what are they doing for the S Corp, right? And then the other thing you'll want to do is just get a peek into their book. So, hey, I tell you what, just add me into new, add me into the bookkeeping. I can look around and kind of figure out, you know, how many transactions you have and everything. And then, um, yeah, let me see your tax return. Just shoot it over to me. Uh, I don't know where it is. Okay, well, cool. It's pretty easy. If you just go find it, you can send it over to me or I can send you a vault and we can get involved in that and whatever it is. So I'm telling you, one of the critical points is understanding your value, getting excited about it, and pushing towards that S Corp in order to push towards the tax return. If you do that, guys, you're gonna be equipped. And then what you can do is you can kind of just put together this presentation to come back when you offer. And we'll talk about proposing what do you actually need when you propose versus what don't you need when you propose, um, which will be kind of in the next video here. So good luck, God bless. Guys, if you need help setting up your website or anything, I don't mean this course to be like another, uh, sales point for us, but I'm telling you, we're starting to set up so many great, in fact, just look at these websites. Like one of the ones I really am excited about, like this is uh, this is my own website, but this is showing off Quadrant. Um, and if you look at Quadrant Taxes, it's just a really nice, slick site. Um, notice how fast that just loaded and then scaled. That's not just because it's so scaled. We put in a tool here that's pretty cool towards the bottom actually. So she helps women entrepreneurs and she's really focused on helping them save their taxes and take back their sanity but even here like again we might try and just keep some more simple language right so it's either tax plan well she doesn't even do tax returns she's doing tax planning and accounting services is really what her focus is but down here we made this little tool and this tool is meant to be very simple if you look at this um, it's a little slider and you do a before and after column and this is meant to just show the before and after of an S Corp, right? So basically what we have here is profit, social security tax, Medicare tax, total taxes. Before, if you made 120 Gs, you and all she does is she puts an image, puts this number, this number, this number, this number, and this number, this number, this number, this number. All this is meant to do is to help her have something to present and say, hey, if you're making 120 Gs, here's the type of, you might be leaving you know, $9,000 on the table, depending on how we're doing it. Um, I'm telling you, when it comes to proposing, this is basically all you need to show the tax plan. Because one of the things with the tax plan is there's a lot that goes into it, but let's be honest, you're walking around with the S Corp, you're looking for real estate bonus depreciation, you're looking for some timing things, you're looking for retirement plans, right? And all you do for retirement plans is show, hey, I think there's like $9,000 if we became an S Corp and then just do this, Dave Ramsey, future value calculator, okay? This calculator is sweet, it's super UI, it's very easy to use. So you go in and you say this person's 20 years old, or let's just say they're, put their age in, right? So they're 30 years old. And then it goes, what year are you gonna, so this is a 37 year future value. You start with nothing. How much would you contribute monthly? Let's just say $800, right? 
uh, let's just say we get 8% return. If we calculate, boom, over the next 37 years, this 30 year old, when they're 67, will have $2 million by, you know, what this does is it helps you extrapolate. When you look at what Corv does in a lot of these, there's more complexity to it, but what's it coming down to? I'm gonna put eight grand back in your pocket and don't just spend it, okay? Take that eight grand and invest it. And when you do that, now you are putting your money to work. Plus, you better be careful if you're being an escort because your social security check is gonna be smaller. It doesn't get much bigger if you let it go up, but it is gonna be smaller. You owe it to your clients to talk to them about that, okay? Um, so what I've done is a lot of times I'll just take this, you take a little screenshot and you go to them and boom. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to save you nine grand. Okay. You just pull this up and you don't even need to complicate the thing. And you pull these photos up and go over it with them because that's real, right? You're not, you can make it look super formal if you're charging $15,000 for the the tax plan, that's totally fine, but I don't think that's gonna work very long. Um, tax planning is good. I think you could totally charge for it, but I like making it part of the setup, right? And that, that that's a whole other deal. But these critical points are walk around with the S Corp, whether you're in person, you're in video, or whatever it is, you're able to present some really compelling stuff if you do that. So guys, I hope things are heading upward and forward. If you need consulting calls, give me a call. Um, we're gonna be doing a group and a couple different things here, but good luck, God bless. I hope things are heading upward and forward for your business.